Rachel owes the money pay up, bitch. Oh, okay. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Fuck you. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Never mind, Taylor. That was a great talk, Max. Let's not do it again. Now if you'll excuse me. You suck! I go for breakfast. And you suck. Oh! Max, come on over here. Oh, he was already waiting for us. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. For you, girl! Oh, boy. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh... An old friend. Yeah. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. He's actually of consequences. Uh oh. Alright, I forgot which one. Ah, we'll be fine. Let's take the bus. <laughs> we'll be alright. I can't think with an empty stomach. It's finally time for breakfast. Or is it? David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or both. I don't know what they were talking about there. <laughs> One playthrough, eight years ago. Can't remember every detail, just saying. <sighs> Hello. Smiling bus driver. Lighthouse. I saw the lighthouse. The lighthouse. It's so. very obvious now. Yeah, I think we all saw the lighthouse by now.
Unlock the lighthouse. It's not very subtle. <laughs> oh, but I think we're there. I remember the whale. The whale sign. Yep. I'm Whoop. ready to cash my lottery ticket. Glad somebody is. I dare. Don't try to take it. I was wondering who we're stuck in here. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lot. No talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hmm. She looks busy and stressed. So let's talk to her! <laughs> oh, sorry. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Her face looks weird. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Hey, good luck, lady. It's a crime that you even need something like a second job because they don't pay don't you enough that way. for your first one. I just wanted to see how far I can go. It's a hobby of mine. Ah, running late, crab a booth at diner, mom will teach you. Somebody better, I'd be lucky if you make it by noon. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Yeah, I'm already on my way to go the other way. Old guy. Let's talk to old guys. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Good luck, old man. Save our city. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. I read them. Restart the life. Life plot. Li life plot? Li life plot? Is this a word? Restart a life plot of Acadia Bay, save our bay, and the man made a throb in the bay. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Jesus, that's a horrible name. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. Oh. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Ah, the Prescotts. I like to look into cars of strangers. I like to look into cars that are not mine. Not sure what to find there. Oh. Doggy? Will Doggy attack me? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Yep. Okay, before I go for the doggy. Okay. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barky. No barky. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Okay, yeah, a little recant. Okay, he seems not in the... Mood? Let's call it mood to talk to me. And yeah, the doggy keeps barky, so I shall leave you. But before we go inny, okay, stop it right now. Me? I can't stop 
happy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's. Hello, man. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir. That's true. Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, I really like his attitude. Uh, it the snow was, or to be odd. fair. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? So why are you still here? You you're not where we like just to know. <laughs> I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. It's really just snow. Wow. Weather service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Acadia Bay, Oregon this week. Sure, if I go too far here, I don't want to go that way. Exactly. So we turn around and go over here. Of course, there's sitting someone I didn't talk to during my first run, and I would like to change this now. Hello. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. I, yes, I, I go to okay. Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. I was a daughter your age who's always in trouble. Yeah, that's Married funny. to a real prick. <laughs> His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. Mm -hmm. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb. Made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. Oh. I have to go now. Goodbye. Ah, uh, here. Life. Life's a bitch, everybody. Okay. After this slightly depressing talk. How oh, is it that depressing? Uh, how about we go in here? Yes, we're open! Bacon and eggs, only $5.95. This is actually affordable. Old fashioned service, whatever the hell this is supposed to mean. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Mm. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Pan Estates. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views coming soon to change the way you live. Mm. Huh? Okay, it's just a Halloween party again. Hello, fisherman. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. 
I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Alright. Why is she weird? Why do we call I her weird lady? What people think about when I eat alone. You always need someone Hello else to there eat. to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I like her, eh? Oh no, 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 not again, oh, not, not again. Picking I up bet someone else's the same quirk. gum from when I was here last. Most likely. This guy has serious cojones. Cojones, it joined the coasters all day sea adventure. Now it started a legendary seaman for your own ocean warriors. T Jake cost you and he's on the sea worlds. You've seen it on TV, read about him in the news. A local captain, fisherman and marine expert with 30, 30 years experience will take your group on a three hour tour of Acadia Bay's lush and exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Woo, what an adventure. Is this the same one? No, there's a different boat. Why does that so not sound fun? Moby Deck Tours. Explore Acadia Bay the right way, discover exciting history and the high sea. Journey in total safety and comfort. Fully equipped 45 foot vessels day and night. Trips available. Couples, groups, or families welcome. Wizard of the Wizard schedule. Okay. I'm gonna make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. Explore the wild woods of Acadia Bay with respected cryptozoologist cry 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 Jack Pierce Jr., author of Bigfoot Myth or Science and Bigfoot Monster or Sasquatch. Narrator of the documentary Bigfoot, I Believe in You. Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his extensive knowledge of lore, legend and technical and today casting your very own Bigfoot print based on an area known only to Chuck Pierce Jr. For more info, price and details, Sasquatch Lives Wild Tracks. Wonderful. It's literally Bigfoot Town, as Chloe called it. Or Sasquatch The poster town. doesn't mention whacked students with guns. Blackwell Academy, Cater Bay, Oregon. Global excellence in arts and science for over 100 years and counting. Free campus tours every third Saturday. Oh god, even here. People suck. Flush before pissing on floor. That graffiti has been here forever. What? Flush before pissing on floor? I don't get it. I, I, why, why, why is this toilet graffiti confusing me so much? Gross. Uh, Rachel A owes me a BG. Mm -hmm. Gross. Oh, wait. What? Fire walk with me. Okay. And another deer, yeah, yeah, we saw it. Thank you, redneck poet. Acadia gay sucks deck. God, the people here are horrible. <laughs> You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. <laughs> a kitten! I want to send a kitten postcards. Ew. That guy looks unpleasant. So let's talk to him! <laughs> what do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... Aww. Our mother. That's kind of cute. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <laughs> <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Is that really a big thing? At least she was chilling in her room. How do you know she was chilling in her room? I'm her you friend. You just said so. 
She might have been getting high or getting oh. her spray cans ready or whatever. I, I'd like to think the best of her, but she's now in the Arcadia Bay Police database. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. Nah, I think not Chloe would rather base. destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... I agree with you when you're grown up, but as a child, and considering how much Chloe has been through as a child, and considering her young age, I, I disagree. She is just a result of the bad luck that happened to her at a young age. But yeah, like you said, you're not a psychologist. That neither am I, so how about David? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. Uh, Just I'm curious. A, I'm a curious person. I'm surprised you know. he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. Mm -hmm. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not mm -hmm. everybody can be a cop. Mm -hmm. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Uh, um, um, um. I wouldn't Trucker. last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. <laughs> Does he always end his conversations this way? Uh, hello? Oh, he's actually Pardon talking to why, us. But you're in my eyesight. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there on the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. Okay. Hey, people I kind of know. Oh, isn't this the guy you have a little crush on? Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Oh, no, there was someone else. Justin is such a mellow dude. I gotta suck at Justin first. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. <laughs> you should be studying, <laughs> bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor okay. finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. You get heroes. He got there first, right. so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. I yeah, saw her. and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Okay. Alrighty, easy, duh! Almost. Drool, want everything. It looks alright, to be fair. Uh, saw, saw better stuff. Okay, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Uh, okay, people with the fish. Nice. Cute. Fish. I would. Hello, the picture? Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. To Joyce, best burgers, a gentle wipe in Oregon, further K. I don't know who that is. Should I? I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Can I change the song? It has been the same for a while now. Okay, <laughs> at least something else. That's funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. Oh, uh, I would like to do, love to do actually well watching one day. Okay, but what I would love to do right now is finally grab some breakfast. And there she is. A lovely young woman. 
How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're <laughs> still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Mm -hmm. I will be. Mm -hmm. Promise. Mm -hmm. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. You don't seem very understanding for her. I mean, she said she chooses to stay angry. She's a traumatized child. I don't know how much choice she had there. How about some pet therapy for this girl? Uh... Chloe understands. She just needs time. And therapy. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? David here! Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. Mm. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. So? He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. If you care about someone, you don't hate them. No excuse to hate her. I'm sorry, Joyce. I really like you, but hell no, you don't know. No. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. <laughs> I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Waffles! 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 I totally forgot what the other... Yeah, bacon up sounds nice as well, but waffles! The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Uh, okay, I will not, not read the whole menu. I saw something Bigfoot bacon. <laughs> eh, funny. Funny! Funny, funny, funny. One Let Belgian me... waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love nerd oh. graffiti. Warren must have been here. Drink a little sip of coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. And bacon before I die. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Can I? Nope, okay, Dad, another sip of coffee. Incoming! This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Oh, I think that's my friend. I can hear your some. stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mm. 
Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat. To you, for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh god, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Hey, I turned this on, I think. Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. Uh -huh. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, I will Max. write this down. Impress me. Uh, I, I, I don't... I, keys, definitely. Your keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Maybe I actually remember it. Uh, okay, no, uh, I think I can't remember it. For a punk like you. That was so... Wrong, Max. Show it to okay, me then. psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. I think it was a pander. A pander. T See, it is a pander. That I remember was it. beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Writing down everything I see. Yeah, it's looking. You need to look at the items and we'll... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. I think she even asked me how many cigarettes are in it. I, I, I only slightly remembered. Let's just say cigarette seven. Oh god, how much money is that? Are these cents? Three, six cents. What? What is this? Quarter dollar. God, quarter dollars, America. Um. So so seventy five, eighty, one cents. I can never remember this, man. And whatever the fuck this is up there. United States of America, five cents. So we have 68, uh, 86. I think. I don't know. I Don't make me do math, please. This is a warning ticket. I oh, got there are times on it. Warning. Ticket. Ten. Already AM. I think this is what she's going to ask me. Or maybe the date. 21 13 okay got it oh, we have to rewind right how do I fast oh, not this way sorry I wanted to go fast sorry didn't find the right key so this is me telling you what's inside your pockets okay Max I'm hella ready you have definitely your car keys, keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. It's a freaking adorable, cute little panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? You have some cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, Seven. You know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Money. Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86? 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Uh, I got a parking, a parking ticket. ticket left. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10, uh, 34. 10, 34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. 
Oh, take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Oh, I want some waffles. Good food. save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. Oh god, no I have way. to remember this as well. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Something happens with the policeman, I think? Uh, oh no, cup, Did you cup. break another cup? Really? Cup? No Trucker. refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my brick. Cup? Call? Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Uh, take fight? Fight club outside. Fight, you guys? You started it. I'm finishing it. I think it was four things. Lady going to the toilet? Is this a thing? Oh, music! This is, song this is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I don't, I'm not sure. I, I know several things now. Yeah, we have to do stuff like that. My memory is not existing sometimes. Okay, so, what do we got? I'm going to predict four events that I will five. happen in the next 30 <laughs> seconds or so. Uh, Jay serves a place, cops drops his glass, Trevor drops his glass, the trucker drops his mug, it uh, drops his mug, yeah. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, okay. what happens next? Uh, I've got something in my eye, this happens next. Alerts on cops radio, and he leaves, and he eats a donut, and he answers, and his partner, I think his partner leaves? I was writing stuff down while this happens. an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. I think this is supposed to happen. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. Joyce doesn't care. Uh, Joyce stops Justin them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, jukebox goes crazy, and a cockroach crawls on it, and a butterfly lands on it. I haven't seen it! Let's say it's a butterfly. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. The butterfly might was wrong, and I'm not sure about the cop. The other two definitely right. Like, there goes the cop in a sec. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cop? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Yeah, there is his partner. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. And they're the fighting. Fight club outside. I have to keep a look at the music it. box. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Come on, I've got three or four. Oh, it's a cockroach, actually. Ew. Ew. Yeah, okay, the this last one. This is a sad day in Maxwell. This is sure the I had three or four. Garbage. I think. Yeah, I think we have to do it all over again. Ugh. Super cockroach. I'm going. Uh, truck hack the drops his mug. So. Uh, and his partner leaves. Well. And Joy stops them. This is getting. And the super cockroach. As a cockroach crawls the on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. There we go. It. The cockroach. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like I was said. busy writing stuff down, so I didn't see it. I only heard it, how it turned on. Ah, okay, there we go. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, way really? to go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Outside. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. 
Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh Check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then... Let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. You didn't finish your waffles? Girl, that's a no-no. Finish your waffles. I can't believe you didn't finish the waffles. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stuck. Oh, can I talk to them again? Why were you guys fighting? Let's talk later when I'm not so high. See you around, Max. Okay, Burnley. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Oh, gotta call. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Chill. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit. Let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. At that point, she's very. Uh, th this is one of the um, points where I really disliked Chloe because she was horrible, selfish, and of course we answer. Hey, Kate, what's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? Bitch, chill. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Oh, Thanks, don't Max. cry me a river punk. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Oof. Big oof. Biggest oof situation maybe I had with Chloe. Yeah, let her poke. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, mm -hmm. we will not change that. <sighs> that was it? Okay. Frank! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think that was Frank staring at us. <sighs> Junkyard. Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, <coughs> like Step Dildo. Sorry. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. Okay. <laughs> sure. 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 Sounds like a great idea. One. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Uh, what can I look at here? Ooh. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Oh, oh, so can I... I can get on a boat? Ew. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Mm -hmm. I need to... Jody Al's junkyard. What do you expect? Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. 
I have to get up on the other side, then I use this, and then I get up there. Oh. Those shells look fresh. Break time. Okay, before I try to do this, let me look at this football. The Bigfoots were here. Okay, car wreck down there. But we're up here now. I love Chloe in the first game, but now, uh, but this is the first game. <laughs> Do, do you mean the prequel that came, that was released after it, like before the storm, where you actually play Chloe? This is officially the first game, and after th this game, there was before the storm, where you play Chloe. Cool. At least not everything is broken around here. There was no need to look at it, just grab it. Boom. Only three bottles left. Ah, let's take a sec in this wonderful atmosphere. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Playing with guns. Despite all the traveling. chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Ah, okay, yeah, first uh, five episodes, Life is Strange, and then there was the three episodes before the storm, which I will also, of course, play here. As soon as we're done with Life is Strange, I will play before the storm. Yeah, I mean, it's a prequel, so Chloe was a little less traumatized in Before the Storm as she is here. Again, she's just the result of some very, very horrible things that happened in her life, and never getting the, the right health in form of a therapy. This is why she is how she is, and I don't try to be so harsh on her, but th th again, the moment when Kate called, of course, Chloe doesn't know, but she also doesn't care. Like, if she know what Kate is going through, she maybe would have reacted differently, um, but she didn't care because it wasn't her, and she only cares about herself, like, at the moment, pretty much. Um, she wanna have the most best fun she can with Max's power, so... Yeah, she was just very, very, extremely over the top, even for Chloe, selfish in this moment, in my opinion. And this is why I really disliked her behavior there. I think it gets better from here on. <laughs> Maybe I forgot some moments. <laughs> but I remember this call. I remember this moment um, as one of, in my opinion, Chloe's worst moments. Goody, two bottles, right? Three more to go. Okay, let's make sure we not get lost here. Let's go over here. There was a car wreck I was able to check out. There we go. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I would say neither. Okay, that looks like the end. Oh. Oh. This hello. looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out. Oh. That kind of hurts. After a while, you, you laughed and didn't call five years. You got a new best friend. Well, what a surprise. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. <sighs> they really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Now, what's up with this weird secret relationship? Sounds like Rachel was confused about it, maybe even ashamed. I wish she named names. I, I better not show this to Chloe or she will be seriously hurt. See, you can tell how much I want you to read this letter since I've been dragging my ass to give it to you. Maybe I just want you to find it when I'm not around so we never have to talk about it. And I don't want you to hate me. Where to start? I met somebody recently who's so different from the lame Vortex Club snobs. I know you all have I know you'll have a meltdown when I tell you, and I think and think he's gross, but I swear he's wise and unconventional. Kinda scary, 
Not in a bad way way. He's just exper experienced some serious shit. Yes, I'm kind of obsessed. I won't blame you for freaking. Maybe I know you're right and this is just has maybe I know you're right and this just has to be my secret. I hate not sharing this with you, except I know you could give me that stink eye and crow me for every stupid detail. Even if I even I, I even told you if I even told you, Jesus Christ, that last night we hooked up near campus. Secret secret tute. Mm-hmm. Look, I have a bottle. Three down, two more to go. La, la, Talk long, about finding way. a bottle in a haystack. Ouch. I can't read. Fuck you, fuck you. Oh, it's very blurry. We are going Abe! Newburg is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5. I drive half, yeah, we will... Uh, we have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or oh, whatever, anyway, go Abe. Too late. Oh god, he's so in love. Poor Warren. I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? I, my best guess is either Chloe or uh, Rachel. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. I think we should not do this. Without... They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. Psychedelic Apocalypse, Saturday, August 12, 2013. Uh, Novelty Crew, DJ Tonio and DJ Nell. Uh, okay, Hollywood Palace. I mean, one is Los Angeles. Like, not only for a rave, anyway. Two more bottles, right? Right. Ah, oh, look! One more bottle, right? Right. One more bottle to go. Ew. Ew. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Why why am only I scared? Why are you not scared, Max? This is creepy. What is this? This is the scariest thing here. What? This is a shirt! Why are you more scared of a shirt than the creepy doll lying around here? Makes you fucking weird. Why was the shirt so creepy? <laughs> I do I not understand. How many generations of fashion went through that washing machine? Ooh, Americans have gone, so it's easy to end your own life. Um, d disclaimer: you don't need an easy, you don't need a gun to find an easy way uh, to end your life. Okay, I I, I thought it was harder to get the last Voila. bottle. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Oh, Katie Kate. Max, I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police. And telling... Th I want to thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keep my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And thanks so much for talking to me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I needed a friend. You were there as usual. This is very good so far. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. Do you realize it's not a real dough, right? Yesterday, an American told me that a six-year-old shot his teacher. Where did he get the gun from? I mean, it happens, unfortunately, way too often that in families, um, like, I, can we be happy that a six-year-old didn't shot himself? It happens way too often that, like, like the, the parents left the weapon unattended, um, but, but the teacher? Was it at school? Okay, I think they have... 
like to protect themselves they actually um, have uh, guns at schools at some schools at least I would believe that it's real unfortunately seriously America what is what is the problem why do you care so much more about guns than people I would totally believe it's real Every once in a while you get a news that the child shot himself because again the, the parents is having their guns unattended. Um, and yeah, I think to protect themselves, at least at some schools, they have guns in the classrooms because you know when, when a guy is running into the school, when a, when a shooter is coming with the guns, running into the school so the teachers can um, protect the children. You know what would be really great if no one would have guns to even run into school in the first place. God, can we not talk about guns in America? It's making me sick. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, just it's so quiet and primordial out here. It is indeed. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. It's a junkyard, but it's a peaceful junkyard. Yeah, this this weird uh, Christmas cards where you have a family of six and everyone has a weapon in their hand. This this is a thing, man. This is no satire. This this is a real thing people do in America because it's guns. I had never understand it. I'm not even sure if most Americans understand it. <laughs> Probably not. <sighs> oh, can I tell? I missed something. Yeah. I think I also missed this. Oh, okay, no, the, the order is wrong. I just got the d dough. And this was much earlier. Okay, maybe I can still get it. Maybe not the whale. The whale might be gone and this might be gone as well. The other two. Uh, four. I cannot count. Ah, whatever. Mm, num, num, before we go back to Chloe. Let me see what this else This was an old school find. punk shirt. Maybe one of clothes. Anything here? Nope. Oh, please tell me I can't. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I can get over it again. We might be done here then. We got all the bottles. We took the picture of the dough. I think we explored the whole junkyard. Oh, there was. Yeah, okay. Car wreck. I think we got a car wreck. There is no way through. And this is where we came from. Yeah. Did I check the boat? No. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. We don't know, we don't know. 